Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. I'm not going to stand up today. This is just one of my T-shirts. You can do something miraculous. And at the moment, I'm working with engineers who are rewriting my T-shirt site. And uh, it may be down offline for a couple of days until the new one is up that can load better. Okay, I'm going to share shortly uh, about how to... Uh, Deliver, or when uh, the Holy Spirit asks you to deliver prophetic words, uh, which are really hard. Um, I, I'm going to label this. I'll label it when I'm finished, but it's going to be something like how to deliver intimidating prophetic words. So what do I mean by that? I'll give you an example. Today I uh, was walking through a shopping centre The past is truly gorgeous. Uh, young girl with a friend. And straight away I got a word of knowledge to say, I'll tell her that she's beautiful inside and without, and uh, she's even more beautiful inside. And I didn't. She's just too beautiful. She's too young. She had an extraordinary looking friend too. It was all too much for me. I went and uh, bought a Coke at McDonald's. I was going upstairs to buy a Coke. The only reason I came from this direction and passed that girl is because the, escalate, uh, the escalators were broken and I had to uh, catch a lift up there. It's the only reason I passed her, actually. I wouldn't have passed her. I wouldn't have given her a prophetic word uh, if that was the case. And um, so I had a... Coke and I was sitting down having a Coke and my eyes went up to this girl and um, a friend that I'm uh, 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 traveling with, a uh, 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 former witch that I'm spending time with that's uh, acting like my Holy Spirit said, she's still there, go up and give her that prophetic word. Uh, what can it hurt? And uh, I was, you know, when a girl is young and when she's uh, very, very beautiful. It's very intimidating. And uh, I finally said, okay, I'll go and tell her. And uh, I approached her and told her that I've got a gift and that allows me to get a message for a person. And I passed her before and didn't give it to her. And uh, notice she's still here. I thought I'd come up and give it to you now. Um, you, you're really, really uh, beautiful uh, looking. But God wants you to know that you're a whole lot more beautiful inside than she really lit up, a friend lit up with, with a smile. She really thanked me. And I said, you know, very intimidating for an older, overweight guy like myself uh, to walk up to such a beautiful girl and tell her that she's beautiful. And, uh, and yet, um, uh, God wouldn't let me go. You know, I wasn't going to give it to you initially. And uh, I've just been reminded to come up and tell you. So uh, just know that God really wanted you to know that... Uh, you're a really beautiful girl inside and, you know, you've got that cliche, beautiful inside and out. Well, you're definitely beautiful inside because um, you, you could probably live with just knowing that you're beautiful uh, and I wouldn't need to tell you, but uh, God's impressed it upon myself to let you know that you're so much more beautiful as a person than you are looking. And she said, thank you so much. God bless you for coming up and telling me that. And then I left and... Um, I remember another time, especially with young girls, young pretty girls, if girls are half my age or two thirds my age, I'm not intimidated so much, but when they're really young, it's intimidating. I remember I was walking down the street, I passed this girl, she was about 16, and she was one of the most stunning, extraordinarily beautiful uh, young girls I've ever seen in my life. She was exquisite. And just like there's many diamonds around and many expensive diamonds, but from time to time there's an exquisite diamond. Uh, and uh, she was sad. And I walked past and Mary Magdalene was with me in the spirit. As I walked past, I was told to tell her this message uh, by the Holy Spirit. I got the word of knowledge. I got the message that I was meant to say to this girl. And uh, 
I just ignored it because you know, I thought I'm an older man, I'm an old creep. I should probably just think I'm trying to win on to her. And uh, Mary Magdalene said, it's amazing that you, you very rarely think that you're an older man or a creep. It's just when someone's exquisite and young that uh, you won't do it. And she said, listen to what the Lord wants to say fully. And she told me the message. He said, w wouldn't she like to hear that? And uh, go back and give it to her. Um, you, you know, why I'm with you all the time, Matthew, is you need not to ignore the most exquisite girls. They're the ones that need to hear the message. And so I went back to her and shared this message. It went on for about three minutes. And um, I asked the older lady that was with her, was she her mother? And she said, yeah. As I walked away from complimenting this girl, um, her mother was saying, I've been telling you this. I've been telling you this for years. It's so true. Uh, you know, it's so good a stranger come up and told you, you need to hear this. You need to remember this. You need to know this. You know, I've been telling you this for years. And me and Mary were walking off uh, and she was laughing and saying, see, I told you she needed to hear it. And it was obvious by the way uh, the mother was imploring her. So, uh, you know, that started off, I, I wasn't in a good frame of mind. Uh, I'm having a, a search engine organization company uh, working on, on, on my prophetic website. And um, they sent me a message today uh, saying that they got my details and gonna deduct money later in the week and then start deducting it monthly on the 1st of January. And I wrote them an email back and said, please don't deduct it later in the week. Wait till the 1st of January and I'll have money. But I hadn't got an email back and I sent a text to the owner saying the same thing and I haven't got a text back. And you sort of worry that they're gonna try and deduct money out of your bank account, you're gonna get fined and you get these worries that, well, they didn't uh, appreciate that. They're not gonna go forward with the contract. You get all these worries. So I got attacked there and I've got this uh, new uh, uh, T-shirt website that's taken at least 13 or 14 of hours of my time talking back and forth to these engineers. You should be able to uh, speak for 30 minutes and have them do it, but it's taken about 14 hours of my time. And uh, it's really hard and it's a hard process. I'm gonna have to shut down the current website, reopen the website, do all this sort of hard process that I did with the first door to make it happen. And uh, because of these two things over me, I wasn't in a really good mood to go out and witness to people and encourage people and yet uh, when I did the first one I, I, when I was getting my uh, McDonald's uh, coke I uh, encouraged this girl so she had really beautiful hair and she had a red highlight in the hair and that really encouraged me and started to open me up and then uh, my uh, friend that's traveling with me said go and tell that girl that if you pass by that you wouldn't do and I went and did her really put me in a good mood and I went and did about three or four other really nice encounters uh, during my trip to the shop. I got this uh, uh, drink, uh, which was a dollar cheaper than the one I normally get. That's really good, better than Coca-Cola. So from time to time, you, you may get, um, if you're a male, even as a female, you, you may have to give someone in a $10,000 suit a prophetic word or someone who's intimidatingly beautiful. Just know that just whatever's intimidating you is, is in the end the enemy. Uh, the enemy doesn't want uh, someone to be encouraged and so encouraged. And she was so encouraged that she said, God bless you. So she was essentially telling me that she was a Christian herself. So uh, uh, they're fun to do, they're memorable to do, and uh, you, you really thank yourself for doing it. But it can be tough and it can be hard, and uh, uh, you're going to be especially intimidated sometimes, uh, but you need to go ahead and do it anyway. God bless.